What's going on, you guys? Judge Drudge here, coming at you with the episode one of Hardcore. Um, we're going to be going through all of the rules and all the things that we're going to be doing for Hardcore during this series, um, so that you guys know from the very beginning. Um, this is going to be a series. They're going to be about an hour or so long episodes, one or two raids in every episode for YouTube. Uh, if you're over on Facebook, it's not going to be edited. It's just going to be the actual whole stream. So without further ado, court is now in session. Let's get to it. Chat. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and start off. I'm English, so I'm going to do that. And Hardcore Judge, we'll keep that name. Uh, we're going to go with USAC. And we're going to go with four men. And we're going to go with, is it Michael now? Is Michael the good name? I don't even know what the good name is anymore. We'll just do that. You've been watching a lot. Have a good day streaming. Dude, Riley, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. He turned on his YouTube voice. You know it. You know it. All right. Game. 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 But if you're watching this on the uh, YouTube pre-recorded stuff, just know I am going to be talking to chat, and you're probably not going to know what I'm talking about. But it, it'll be it'll be funny, dude. Game. Game. Got that discount account? Get ready for the hackers. What are you talking about? Thank you so much for the for the stars though, man. First time ever sending stars, Riley with the 200. We got Nathaniel with the 50 and Red Foreman, also known as Anonymous, with the 100 stars. Really appreciate it. Jacob Wharton with the follow. Welcome to the jury. Okay, so right off the bitty bat, we go here and we destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. D X and Y X and Y. You, you are seeing yourselves correctly, chat. First rule of hardcore is you can't have anything. You can't start off with anything. You must earn everything that you have. Okay? We're going to keep one stack just in case we need to heal. All right. So rules of this is all of these... All of these barter or non-barter trades. So I can buy this with rubles, right? I cannot do that. The only things that I'm allowed to do are these right here. I can only do actual barter trades on hardcore. I'm not allowed to use my secure container. And I'm not allowed to do this scav right here. If you see a different scav on here, typically speaking, it's because I got pissed off and I ran the scav and then I disconnected before I could extract. You will see that on video footage, but this should this scav should never change. It should always be a scav vest, a 133 shotgun, aviators, hat, mask, because I will not run that. I am not allowed to take. Oh, it's Hermes bad. Let's just uh, delete that. And that. Okay. So. We have 250k here. We don't need that much. Uh, we just need enough to be able to heal at the end of the raid so it doesn't take so long. But um, I'm not allowed to put anything in my alpha container except for keys. I can put a docs case in there and put keys in there. I can put a sick case in there, put keys in there, or a key tool. I can put keys in there, but that's it. Um, and that's pretty much the rules, chat. Um, I'm allowed to heal with the therapist at the end of a raid, but... That's about it. Oh, I'm not allowed to use insurance. No insurance is allowed on here. And um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. First raid of hardcore, you guys. Hope you guys are excited. Welcome. I'm Judge. Hope you guys like the intro. Let me know in the comments. Here we go.
Decent spawn. Decent spawn to find a gun. We got two shots here. We got two shots here with the weapons crates. Now remember, we can't put anything in our secure container unless it's a key. Or something that you can put a key into. Um, I do believe... If I find a key card and I find a wallet, I am allowed to put the wallet in inside. Um, the key cards are allowed to go inside of the boot pouch as well. Um, as labs on hardcore isn't isn't like your typical thing for um, in Tarkov. Basically, labs is just to, to gear up. So when we find a labs card and we don't have anything in the inventory as far as armor, guns, and stuff, we'll go into labs and just try to be a super duper ultra mega ultra rat and and come out with uh with a little bit of gear as a labs key card is pretty much worthless for us unless we use it except for the task oh we got some armor oh no a vest we got a vest all right oh we got food that's gonna come in handy and we'll go ahead and grab those all right, so here's where we have to make a seriously tough decision. Do we go to USET camp and risk um, the possibility of running into a player? Um, there is a gun. There's like three or four gun spawns inside a USET camp, which is that's our number one priority, finding a weapon. Um, if you guys didn't, you probably because we were talking about it in between raid. I'm cutting those out. Um, so right now we are just trying really hard to be able to just defend ourselves essentially woods for goods woods for goods that's right i believe woods is the best zero to hero map um it used to be shoreline um but there's just so many weapon spawns on woods like legit like weapon weapon spawns um there's backpack spawns there's there's just as many stashes as shoreline if not more um it's just there's a meds there's a crap ton of meds i mean it's everything you need everything you need for a zero to hero i should have checked my voice line to see what it is Doesn't look like anyone's been here. Looking for a gun. Looking for a gun. Yo, what's up, Steven? We're going to go with the scav vest. So we're grabbing food and drink because we're going to need it because we're this is our first raid ever. Food and drink is always handy dandy on your first raid. Uh, morphine, we're going to need those. We've got a um, Archangel. book thank you so much d feels really good for selling um you can actually do a is it is it a d field trade for bt ammo as well so that that's pretty huge checking quickly for our spawns for weapons Lots of attachments here. This would be really great to get that stock uh, M4. Now we don't need to look in there. Okay. 
We're gonna go back here, hit this. See if we can find a gun. Give me a gun, baby. Yeah, boy! We got a gun, all right. Now we can kill a scav. We got four rounds. 45 ACP. All right. So we're we're in business now, chat. We are we are in business. Um we might be able to find another mag for this. Can we get a, can we get a ho yeah in the chat? Can we get some, can we get some uh oh, some comments in the comment section for the big pickup of the 45 ACP? Let's go. Starting with nothing is so hard. Like, literally, guys, if I die, I have nothing in my stash. There's nothing there. But if you guys haven't as well, on the pre-recorded, as well as the live stream, make sure you guys hit that like button. That's going to really help out with the algorithm over on uh, on both both accounts. What do we got here? We got some toilet paper. We need that, boys. Let's go. We need that TP for the hideout. Let's freaking go. We need to upgrade the hideout as fast as humanly possible so we can get our stash upgrades. This is a 100% standard account, so it is very small. I think I am going to make one rule change. There is going to be one rule change for hardcore. I do believe I'm going to allow myself to buy one Lucky Scav Junk Box with cash. I haven't decided yet. I don't remember what the trade is. If the trade isn't too bad, we're going to go with the... I'll be able, only be able to do trades. Um, but I did hear you have to be, like, level... Let's freaking go, chat. Let's freaking go, chat. Let's freaking go, chat. Oh, boys. Boys and girls, let's go. Oh, my God. Talk about a come up, bro. Talk about a come up. This guy's got a level 48 tag here. What? And he's got a salure? Oh my god. Oh my god. What did we just do, chat? Dude, let's freaking go. And we just killed a scav. OPSKS and a pillbox? What? Do you have your front sight? It doesn't have its rear sight. We'll take our rear sight from this one. We'll stick it on here. Actually, no, we're not going to. The other one's just too damaged. It's just way too damaged. Grab his knife. We'll grab his pillbox, and now we have ammo for our SKS. Lots of ammo. We got another ESO. Put this in here. These tags are worth nothing to me. Uh, we don't need a muzzle break for a stem. We'll do that and that. Alright, two more scavs down, chat. Two more scavs down. I'm really thinking about going for this, uh, this press armor. Press armor's actually pretty decent. It repairs really well. Um, but we have the diaper energy. And water. 
We got more movement up top. Alright, so we find a key, we can put it in our butt here. If we find a key, we can stick it in our butt. We did not find a key. More pack of armor. Uh, we need Winston cigarettes. We need that, but we're not going to grab it. It's way too early to worry about that. Trade 100 tags for a Lucky Scat Junk Box? Right, but I have a standard account. Where am I going to put 100 tags? See, that's that's the that's the issue. Is where where do you put the tags? Definitely want to keep that. Got another armored rig here. This one's brand new. We got 366 AP rounds here. We're going to get rid of this Mosin. And we're actually going to... I think we're going to keep one extra mag... Got SMB ammo for the for the Mosin here. We got fifteen hundred Hruples. We can throw that on. And I dropped a mag here. And we got two extra mags for that. We'll go ahead and unmag or unpack this one. Dude, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. I hope you guys... Hope you guys see how amazing this run has been. An alpha rig? Oh, boy. Oh, oh my. Oh my, Jack. Another energy? What is going on? Tarzan, 20 round mag for the freaking SKS. Are you freaking kidding me, chat? Go ahead and drink our energy drink. That's not good, chat. Let's hope he has a splint. This one's got an AKM. PS ammo. We need half masks. We got a morphine, dude. And Terracola. All right. Go ahead and drink that. Getting our legs broke there was not, not in the plan, chat. Don't drink that. So that's definitely going to affect...
what we do going forward here. Did I add any new rules? Not that I know of. Can I put that on that? No, that's a 12 gauge monster phone. All right. So we killed quite a few scavaroons. We really need two splints. We do have a morphine. Um, I do not plan on using said morphine. Until I absolutely need to. I really don't want to use the morphine until after looting this next part. Like, I want to hit this stash over here, and then I want to hit over there to see if I can find a splint. I, I really don't think I'm going to find a splint, but you never know. Tarkov might bless me with a an AU splint over here, and we might be able to at least get to our extraction. At this point, like, we're good to extract. 100% we got we got three or four guns. We got four guns. We've got an extra armor. We've got a couple backpacks. We got a couple rigs. I mean, we we're, we're solid here. That was very unfortunate with that scav coming and shooting us in the leg and giving us some broken bones. But that's Tarkov, man. What do we have here? We got another gun. Blood set? Oh, and a freaking Ketter. Okay, we're going to eat this, and we're going to drink the apple juice, and we're going to make room for this Ketter. Ketter's huge, you guys. That's that's a really good zero-to-hero gun where you can just come in with basically nothing, and then bam, Ketter it up. Um, and these two, these two tags here... I'm thinking we're probably going to get rid of. And we got a blood set. That's big. That's for a med case. We want to keep syringes, blood sets, Vaselines, and um, syringes, blood sets, Vaselines, and there's something else. I think we're going to go ahead and use our, our morphine here because I think I heard someone up here. Hot rod, PRS. This is food storage. We're going to check it anyway. take that um, lucky strike cigarettes will take we grab that Tashanka yeah we did so that's for a task as well uh, coffee I want that on my other account but not this account yet all right if we see a vodka we're gonna grab that because that's a painkiller as well. Okay, we're just going to go this way. This might give us... This might hurt us. Okay, we're cool. Yeah. Ooh. Just remember, guys. Hardcore sometimes isn't the best to watch for you guys. Because here in a little bit, when I go back in pain, it's just going to be super blurry. And I do apologize for that. But, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do. Just blood sets. Thanks for the raid last night, bud. Hope Harkar is treating you nightly so far. This is my first raid, bro, and we've got like five, six guns. We got a full freaking two full armors. Hardcore, you start off with nothing. Literally, there's nothing in your inventory. So we're we're doing good. 
I could shoot at that scav, but I'm not going to. I probably could hit him, you know, kill him in one shot, but I don't want to take the risk of it. I don't, I don't even know if you guys could see it. I could see it. What's up, Anthony Conch? Dark AK47 Gaming, thanks for the follow age. So we're going to continue looking for splints in areas where we're probably not going to find a splint. But man... That dude could have shot me anywhere. He had to shoot me in the legs, you know? At least if he shoots me in the arms, we can run. Some more painkillers would be nice. What, cat? What do you want? Are you excited about hardcore too? Me too. Yo, we got Menace with the follow. We got Wally with the freaking like. What's up, Wally? Probably you 100% could one tap that scab with an SKS. I mean, maybe, but I don't want to risk it, bro. What if he had a toss? Like, he'll one tap. Oh, we got another morphine. We've got two. And we got another PM pistol. I really wish I could take that internal mag out. Um. Easy peasy. Easy decision there. You're saying to yourself, Judge, that's a PM pistol. It's like the worst pistol. Right, but it's a gun, and I can kill a scab with it. And then if I kill a scab, then bam, maybe I have an SKS with a level 4 armored rig. You know what I mean? That's why we want, that's why we want pistols, because when we die, we're going to be either going in with a knife, or we're going to be going in with, a, with like a pistol. Because we aren't going to have gear 99% oh. of the time. So I saw either a player or a scav over there. There's another hot rod. We can drink that. We'll drink this one and pick up the other one. Where's the best place to find gas analyzers? Ollie and interchange. Or in filing cabinets. If you're not a fan of the interchange. I'm not a fan of the interchange. You could scav in uh, interchange. You could probably just go ahead and scav in interchange and and find either in the filing cabinets or in Ollie. You'll probably just find one sitting there on the shelves. <laughs> Live notifications didn't work today. Craig, make sure you type in exclamation point notify in the chat again. Maybe it'll work today or tomorrow or later today. All right, so we're making room by healing here. Dude, this is big, chat. This is so big. Make sure you guys hit that like button. This is such a big raid. We got very, very lucky on this raid, but we also we also kept our cool when we uh, were fighting those scavs. I keep that. You did? Okay. I didn't see it, Craig. I'm sorry. I haven't been looking at chat too much. I'm trying to really pay attention. You find them constantly on stash on woods? Yeah. It's it's just like random though, so it's not a good place to be like, you'll find it in the stash. One thing I will say to new players is people struggling to find things. Just try to find a try to make a path. Even if it's not something that, like, say, I've made or, like, Pestley made as far as a loot run. And and try to just do that constantly over and over and over and over and over. And that should help you... Dude, we found an AFAC? Are you freaking nuts right now? Wait, we need that. We need that. We'll get rid of the lucky strike. We'll drink the hot rod. Put that there. Put the bolts down. Bring in the Ezra. Yo, we got Jeffrey with the follow. My man, welcome to the freaking jury, dude. All right.
I can't believe we just found an AFAC. All right, and I think we have enough money to use the car. Yeah, we do. If the car's open, we're going to get out of car extract, and we're just going to call the W. Um, theoretically speaking, you guys, I should just say F it. I should just say F it and walk all the way to the extract. Because um, car extract is a little bit vulnerable, and people can tell if you hit it. Um, but with the fact that I'm probably going to lose my painkillers here in about 10 seconds, um, I just don't think that's a good idea to like be limping all the way over there and not being able to see very well. Not to mention this character can't hear very well, even though I do have um, a headset on. So if you guys didn't know, when you start a new account, you can't hear as good as, say, my other account because your perception skill is low. So the higher your perception skill is, is the farther that you can actually hear. You wish New World didn't get pushed back in a whole month? I'm, I'm glad it did. Let's not give... Uh, nev let's, let's try to make a trend here. Let's try to trend something. Stop giving developers shit for pushing back their game when they're trying to make the game better at launch so that they don't have games like Cyberpunk or... Um, what was that one game that tanked really, really bad? The space game. No Man's Sky. Like, we don't want a No Man's Sky. We, we do not want a cyberpunk. Ooh. We want a good game when it, when it launches for once. So stop giving shit to, to, to the developers when they're like, hey, we're going we're gonna to take an extra month to make this game good. You know what I mean? I think that was a scav. Just ran out of painkiller too. GG's. Let's go. Dude, that was huge. You do have bullets all in your butt? I did? I gotta I gotta delete them, man. We got 5,623 XP on our first run ever on hardcore. Dude, get out of here with that shit chat. Just zooming on the level. Zooming. Okay, we can't use this. Oh, dude. Dude, that was that was nuts. That was nuts, you guys. You can't do much better than that starting off. I mean, you can. You can find like a like a guy with like a slick and an alton or something, but That was that was awesome. That was awesome. Awesome. All right. So make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're not following the page, make sure you hit that follow button. What's up, you guys? What is up? How do you do better in naked versus me going in full chat? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Now we get to wait on the game for an hour and a half. Okay. So first off, let's go in here before we forget, because we haven't done this yet. Not that it really mattered. Okay. Okay. So, we've got two backpacks. We've got an armor. We've got one, two... Three, four, five, and six guns. We came out with six guns. That's six runs now that we are officially able to, you know, kill people with. 
Uh, we got two Winston cigarettes, some bolts, a water, some energy. Uh, we also got 366 APs for our VPO. We got ammo for our SKS. Quite a bit of it, actually. Um, we've got two armored rigs. Um, I am allowed to repair rigs. Um, I technically shouldn't have been able to do that because I didn't sell anything. But, you know. And there, there was no ammo in my butt. So. Uh-huh. Um, so we got heals here. Um, our SKS, we're going to bring that in with our 20 round mag. And we're going to do that. We do not need this internal magazine. So we're going to sell that to mechanic. Um, we're going to bring in 60 rounds for that. We're going to keep that ammo here. Um, armor wise. So we destroyed all of that. Um, we destroyed all of the money that we used to make sure that we got out with at least a knife or whatever. Since now we have the ability to sell things. Once you have your first uh, successful um, raid, you have to get rid of the excess money that you had to be able to um, heal with the therapist. That's my personal rule. I'm not sure if that's an actual rule. Um, so we're going to bring in uh, a bandage. We are going to bring in an ESO. And we're going to bring in that AFAC and this Burka backpack. So we'll go here, here, and here. Um, we do have SMB ammo here as well, as well as more heals. We've got bolts and nuts down here. Uh, task items will go in rigs. Um, and we're going to bring in the energy drink just to drink at the beginning of the raid. And task items and where's that other food? Task item. Okay, so we could sell this stuff. We're not going to do that yet, just yet. But we're going to go into the hideout and make sure that I don't think there's anything that we can do without cash. Um, illumination we can do with 10k. Um, what's the one? So I make sure I have what I need. You know, it's not any of these. Generator, we need a spark plug and 100k. Um, we need matches, so that's something we need to keep an out for for the heating. Um, laboratory, we need toilet paper, soap, and toothpaste. No big deal there. We should be able to find that, no problem. Uh, med station, that's another one we want to make sure we keep an eye out for. So we need a syringe for the med station and the med. Okay. Okay. Uh, nutrition unit, we need relays. Security, we need measuring tape. Um, workbench. These are the only things I'm allowed to buy. Quest items like the Leatherman tool, um, Wi-Fi camera, stuff like that. I am allowed to actually purchase these from the traders as they're almost impossible to find in raid. I know that there is a spawn in them on overhead on woods. I'm very aware. This is the one rule um, that we're allowed to buy with. That Pestley goes by that rule. Uh, Deadly Sob goes by that rule. Um, so we're going we're gonna to abide by that rule as well. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Um, we are still fractured here. Um, and there's no way for me to fix it inside of this raid. Um, I do not want to go in with two fractures. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump over here to my other computer really quick. And we are going to pull up escape from Tarkov on the other computer. Real quick, like we could be in here just like examining stuff for a minute because that will heal itself in about five minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, pull up Escape from Tarkov on my other computer here. And um, we're going to get in the hideout and craft some stuff really, really quick. So this is Escape from Tarkov on my other computer, my stream PC. 
in its its loading data profile. Can you scav at least? No, no scavs. I mean, I could run that scav and like just to waste time, but I'm not gonna do that. All right, so med center, it is gonna get choppy here when I hit this button, or it's already choppy right now. Don't worry, it'll come back. Super choppiness, engage. Dropping your second like, hell yeah. Thanks dude. We go ahead in the workbench here. And grab a couple more of these smoke grenades. Make some green gunpowder. Choppiness engaged. And then we'll jump out of the game and come back. I reset my game on the other computer as well because it was getting really bad. Your PC, stream PC doesn't like it when you push its buttons? Bro, it doesn't It doesn't like it when I run a, a, a video game that doesn't run good on my even better computer while I'm streaming and recording. <laughs> for some reason. You want me to punch me where? Uh, in, in the Diac. In the big old Diac. But welcome, you guys. Um, I think we're going to... I don't know. I kind of I kind of want to just like... I kind of just want to buy it two splints. And, and and just be like, all right, we waited 10 minutes, right? I mean, that is that really cheating? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Just to keep the stream rolling, chat. Just to keep the stream rolling. We're not allowed to use insurance. We're good to go. Raid number two of the Hardcore series. We are by the FOB. This is a dangerous, dangerous place for us to spawn at. Um, we're gonna we're gonna YOLO it though. We're gonna really try to get stocked up on meds here. We're gonna get in, we're gonna get out. 490 stars from Curtis Nora Best for, on Jeffrey's behalf, dude. That's so cool, man. Thank you so much. Are you not going to do the introduction pass for mechanic? Not just yet. I'm more worried about getting items I need right now than tasking. I think we needed soap. Sodium bicarbonate is a trade for an IFAC, so that's big. Water, crackers. Don't need hunchback for anything. We need that. Syringe, we need that. Bandage, we'll need eventually. Saline solution, we need. Sprats, we'll eat that. Water, we always need. Sugar's worth nothing. MRE, we can trade with a, um, you know, PS ammo, T ammo, PSTGZH. There's a whiskey over there. If we don't find any painkillers, I'm going to grab that. If we don't find any painkillers, I'll drink that if I need it. 
D fuel. BP, that's good ammo. We got dollars there, we don't need that. We need those. It's that regular bandage, we'll get rid of that. IFAC. Get rid of the bandages. Another syringe and a splint. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and eat the sprats. Get rid of get rid of the bandage. Take the splint. Check the bag here. Uh, USB, I don't think we need. Sorry if it seems like it's loud. I always feel like I have to yell when it rains. We need bolts. All right, successful start. God, I missed the heat wave. Would you say Woods is a map to learn? Because I freaking hate Woods. So if I'm going to do a zero to hero run, or if I don't want to run into players, um, and I just want to make a crap ton of money, uh, Woods is it, man. If you, I actually have a Tarkov 101 series where I, um, where I play Woods and I kind of show you my whole loot route. I have maps that come up and stuff. Um, so it's a fairly well done loot run video. I'd say I would definitely check that out. Um, learn that route. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Ooh, a hat. Maybe it won't be so loud. Nope, still loud. Wrench, I know we need. Hi, Kit Kat. If you guys haven't, though, make sure you do smack a like that like button. Um, this video is going to be going on YouTube. Slightly edited by myself. So, make sure if you're watching it on the YouTube, that you hit that like button. Yeah, what's up, dude? What's up, Grizzly? You can make massive money on woods, correct. Even if you go in and just farm Sherman, you can make you can make pretty good money. There's armor spawns over here. Um, there's a 3N armor spawn back there. I didn't check it. We do need that for a task. Am I overweight? Okay, cool. I'm not too overweight. There is a stash over there that I normally hit, but I'm trying to play this fairly safe. And I can't hear very well because it's effing raining. It's really hard. And um, in fact, I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit because it's it's a little much for me. It's a little much. The safe worm is always diabetes. That's my safe word for everything. We're going to go ahead and finish healing up our legs here. Yeah, we grabbed that whiskey. We might end up drinking that here in a little bit. So we want to be careful here. Basically, one shot from a uh, shotgun scab is going to kill us because we don't have any armor on. So we have to be very, very careful. We want to make sure we see the scab before it sees us and make a very good, precise shot. Like that. It's 
So now we should have the rig. I missed. I did not miss there. Once again, he almost killed me. Where'd that first scav go? There he is. We need that. Shattered mask is better than a hat. And he's got magnum buckshot. Let's go. That's big. That's big. So if this guy's have if this guy has armor, then we're G to G. Doesn't look like he does. Now he's got a Sager. Esos are always good to grab. IFAX, clearly. We don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, that guy has a helmet. Um, we could grab... Let's do this. So now we got an extra backpack along with that rig. SKS, he's got an armored rig. So we're switching out rigs here. Beautiful. Another 20 round mag. And a helmet. No rear sight on that. Go ahead and stick that there. Magnum Buckshot out here, we'll do that. Uh, we'll get rid of the two rounds there. We could sell that for 30K, I think is what it goes for. Okay. I don't think we hit the stash yet. So we can do that. We need to reload too, which it's going to try to do the magazine. So if you hold down R and use your scroll wheel, you can top load. Pack of nails. We need a measuring tape. We'll get cigarettes later. I'm not going to worry about those just yet. New followers, so glad you joined us here today. Thanks for coming. We should appreciate it. Thanks, Jeffrey. Oh, Joe Lamar. Thank you so much for the follow, Joe. Sorry, I'm like hyper concentrating right now, and I'm going to miss alerts, so I do apologize. This is hardcore Tarkov. If you guys didn't know, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'm really hoping we find some cash to be able to take the car extract. That would be really beneficial for us because this is another really good raid already. I'll probably just sell that. If we find anything else useful, we'll drop it. Um, another helmet. That's the fake helmet. That's a level one. That's like a little plastic replica. So we're not going to grab that. Harley. Harley, hit the damn like button, you, you damn Harley. Thanks for the 50, dude.
Alright, somebody already hit this. You can tell because that box is open. That doesn't mean that they took everything that we're going to want. So we're still going to loot here. So like that handguard, we could put attachments on. I'm not going to take it, but once again in here, he might not have taken a spark plug or you never know. What's hardcore talk off? No flea, no gamma, only barter trades. Uh, you can't do a scav vest. I started out with literally, or you can't do uh, scav runs. I literally started out with nothing in my inventory. I deleted everything. Uh, standard account. The only thing that can go in your gamma is keys. Um, there's a few other rules, but can't think of exactly every one at the moment. We've already got one measuring tape. We're going to grab another one. Um, solely because I know I'm going to need tool sets in the future. And I know those trade for them. Along with those red screwdrivers and yellow pliers. And a few other random things. But Another PM pistol. That's awesome. Do you know the length of time to stash is to close? Um, I don't. I actually tried to do this. Me and Irish went into a raid and he opened a stash and unlooted it or like looted the whole thing. And then I just stood there and, and waited for it to close. Um, and it never closed. So I don't know. We, we couldn't figure it out, like how the mechanic itself worked. It's crazy. I can't hear anything with this helmet on. Like, you know, you can't hear much when you can't hear your footsteps. All right. So we're going to go in here and look for what we need. We need those. Uh, milk we're going to drink. Don't need milk for anything in particular. Keep our hydration up. It's probably... Okay. That's that's big. 120 rounds of BT. And there's a freaking spark plug right there. Unbelievable. This is fantastic. We've had some seriously good luck so far. Um, I don't think I'm going to risk this raid too much further. I think I'm going to hit these. And then I'm just going to hit the stashes on my normal stash route. And see if we can't just get out here. So once again, things can go in my butt as long as I, I use it like my hands. Typically speaking, I'm not supposed to just like walk off with it, but it's I used it, so it's okay. So now we're going to take my known path for very, very less, like very unlikely chance of finding players. 
Because I really want to get out of this raid. This is this is a so far a very, very good raid. You know, we could go over there and look for no, we're not going to. We could go over there and look for the three end spawn. Um but we are already overweight. So I might even take this helmet off. Hey, thank you, Jeffrey. This is bullshit. It's taking me 10 raids to find the, the stuff that you found in one raid. Well. Subscribe to my channel now and get three free months of Tarkov Prime. And you too can have amazing luck while playing Tarkov. Yeah, milk is pretty fantastic. I'm going to turn it back up to my normal 40. So right now we're doing a little bit of strength training. Um, pretty sure all of our skills are still under one. Sign me up because that's what it feels like. Dude. A lot of it too, you guys, is like I had the same problem. I used to not be able to find gas analyzers to save my freaking life. I could never find flash drives to save my life. Like, I can't. I think it was last wipe. It was last wipe. Last wipe. I was almost done with Kappa, and I hadn't found my last gas analyzer yet for the therapist. Like I was, I was done with Shooterborn in Heaven. I was done with um, Tarkov Shooter. I was done with the Punisher task line. I was done. I was done with damn near everything, and I, the only thing I didn't have was um, them damn, the damn freaking stupid ass gas analyzers. This wipe, I found five of them, like right off the bat, like the first three raids, because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this task done, and then I just like went and looked for them, and actually like actively looked for them, ah. and same thing with flash drives. And it's just, it's been nice. I just know where to go now. It's all about knowledge. And there's a lot of luck to it. Don't get me wrong. Tons and tons of luck. You can look for a red key card for a year and a half going to, going to all the red key card spawns and never find it. Gotta go shoreline for gas analyzers? I disagree. Interchange. Interchange, especially later in the wipe, you'll find 10 of them. They'll just be sitting on the shelves. You need a painkiller now that you thought about the flash drive. <laughs> so on hardcore, last uh, last wipe, we had uh, we couldn't find a freaking flash drive, and I was just going around flash drive, flash drive, flash drive, flash drive in the Ollie Logistics key. Last wipe, were completely unattainable. They they did not spawn. It was, like, impossible to find them. Uh, not just reserve filing cabinets, but all filing cabinets. And I do believe they can have flash drives as well. But this wipe for me... Safes. Safes have had all the flash drives. Seems like one in five safes I hit has a flash drive. We got rubles. We got an alkaline. We need that eventually. I'm sure I'll find more. Um, let's go ahead and drink our water because that's going to free up two slots. You tasking? Um, this is hardcore. So uh, I'm playing hardcore. <laughs> There's no like I'm doing a task. It's I I'm I'm in a raid and I'm trying to survive. And if I get a task done, sweet. All right, power gauge, weapons parts. We need that. Let's go through. I would like to get that P gauge. 
Um, there's really nothing I want to drop, though. We could drop the ESO. Do that and that. Grab the power gauge. We really need to get money, too. So that's something that we need to think about. So that condensed milk would have been fantastic to be able to pick up. Um, but yeah. So normally I'll go up over there. Well, I do have armor. We could find a really crappy headset or something when we kill those scabs up there too. Let's go up there. Let's risk it. So what's the main difference for hardcore? Type an exclamation point hardcore. It'll give you the main basic guidelines. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm going to actually run around. As you guys as you guys know, don't really typically want to run into players. I don't think I would have too much trouble with most guys that are running this route that are like trying to loot this stuff. Um, but you never know. I do have an SKS, stock SKS. So Your Empire Jerky is <laughs> got delivered as you were extracting? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so we're just going to avoid that situation right there as we have quite a few items that we need. Um, and we have quite a bit to go to get to our extraction point. And I don't want to die, so... I don't want to die. This low stamina and strength sucks. do need to eat food, um, which we don't really have any at the moment. Should be okay, but... Jack Link's ain't got nothing on carne asada. Dude, carne asada is fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. But if you want to know what else is fantastic, it's hitting that like button. But uh, Jerky from Empire Jerky Chat. If you're on the YouTube, use uh, code JUDGE at checkout for a nice little discount. I highly recommend the... Um, the mango habanero, the carne asadas, aluminum freaking splint, as well as the Hawaiian barbecue. Um, ba -ba 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 we'll do that. And we'll do that. And for some reason, I don't think we need soap, but we need guns. But we'll do that. I feel like up here, we're going to find a freaking M4. And I'm going to have... Some serious issues with that. So for lavatory, I know, but I'll find more. No cash transactions, correct. We'll find more soap. I already have a feeling I'm going to find an M4 somewhere, so. I don't think that goes on there.
peas, peas, the magical fruit. The more you eat them, the more you toot. Okay. Get this. You dropped your soap? I know. Fuel conditioner, F. P5, F. Another SKS. Oh, another 133. Three. Yep, that's what I was expecting to happen. All right, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to drink the whiskey. We're going to drink the water. We're going to get rid of that. And we'll probably find a soap up here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Floaty McFloaterson, come for me, my friend. I'm like freaking Harry Potter over there. Like Levioso. El Gato. Levioso. I think that's what it is, right? That sounds good, right? U.S. dollars. Where do I get these streamer lobbies? If you subscribe to my channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Breach? Who's a breach? You doing hardcore? I am. No, I haven't died yet. Cheeky breaky. One more. So what's the cash good for? Nothing. That's why I didn't pick it up. Noah, becoming a Supreme Court member. I hope you realize that I was just kidding about the Tarkov Prime. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, dude. That silencer could go on that uh, 133 that we have, but... Right here, I'm, I'm literally just searching this stuff to search for it. Just in case we find something crazy. Like, that would be nice to take. But we're not going to. Um, I am going to take it. All right, now we just hope nobody's camping my spot over here, and we're good to go. MP5 SD Upter. Gunsmith Part 3. He has a point, chat. I thought it was the Supreme Cult. I guess I'll put... <laughs> I mean, it can be the Supreme Cult if you want the Supreme Cult.
Where was that at? Was it in this one? Yeah, but then I still have to find the silencer. I'm probably just going to end up doing the trade. I'm just going to end up doing the trade. I was thinking that was something else. That's a long ways away regardless. Where'd that fuel conditioner go? Well, now I feel dumb. Here. We'll go get it. Because I dropped the fuel conditioner and I don't know where it's at. I just relaxed. Oh, your stream was backed up like five minutes. Sorry for the outdated statements. I, I don't care. I don't even know what you said. You need to learn this map. Yeah, Woods is a good one to learn. Now I just got to find my backpack. Oh, God. Were mistakes made? <laughs> You don't even think you've done the first gunsmith? First gunsmith's pretty easy. There's a trade that pretty much gives it to you. All right, so since we have the 133 shotguns now, I think we're going to do one more woods run, and we're going to get Jaeger's letter so that we can turn in our, our uh, food and stuff. We have just about everything we need, I think. I think we need, we need more Tashanka. I think that's all we need. A one more at the Shanka. Run call simulator. It is at the moment. It is at the moment. You might need one more, right? I got two. I think you only need two, right? Or do you need three? You start doing the missions, yeah. The the tasks are are very important for progression. But then once we do one more run to get the uh, Jaeger letter, we will go to customs and kill our six scavs or five or whatever it is, and we should be good to go. What do we have here? We got some squash and we got a Dejena. Go ahead and eat the squash. I would like to be able to keep the squash, but I think we pretty much have our maximum efficiency for what we do have. As far as like, I don't think I want to drop anything at this point. I kind of wish I would have grabbed that, um, that fuel conditioner just for the 36K, but Yo, what's up, Anthony? You gave up on the Kappa grind? You still need to do the tasks. You want to get your traders unlocked? So, like, when you die and you want a good gun, like, I can buy a gun and kit it out to be meta for, like, 120k, whereas if you do it on the flea market, you can do it for, you know, three to 400k. Um, it's just just a big difference in price. Same thing with ammo. Ammo is really the biggest thing. You get absolutely raped on ammo if you can't buy it from the traders. For pretty much every single ammo type.
the task get done by just playing? Not really. Do you think the longer the waiting players, the emptier the lobby? Um, no, waiting for players is when you're waiting for someone else to get their toaster oven turned on. So if you wait for players for like 20 seconds, that's a pretty good chance for an empty lobby. Like this, like this one, I didn't wait on players at all. I didn't, like, it, I was like in a wait raid like almost immediately. Not stressing about what I need. Oh. Uh. Howdy, howdy, Bailey, howdy. So if you crash after getting matched, the game sits there and waits for you for five minutes or something. Um, I'm not really sure. I've had it happen to me um, a few times where my game crashed and I was with a was I was with a duo, um, and they had to wait until I was ready to go. So I think that might be the case. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you just type in exclamation point Discord, John, the Discord link comes up. At least I think that still works. We're almost there, chat. Can you repeat the waiting for players in lobby invo? Uh, typically speaking, if you don't wait for players at all, that means that there's no one else in the lobby because you're not waiting on players. And if you're waiting for a long time, it's because someone has a toaster oven. And if you're not, if you're like loading your map for like five, six minutes and then you don't have to wait for players, it's because you have the toaster oven. If you never really ever see waiting for players and you have to wait a long time to get into a raid, that's because you have the toaster oven. You're, you're the, you're the problem. Get an, get an SSD. <laughs> G freaking Gzo. We got three scab kills. Probably hit level five, close to it. All right. We've got um, half of one of the tasks done, as well as um, I think we got one of the Jaeger tasks completely done. I don't have a toaster. If your map loads in for the five minutes, you're the, you are the toaster. Yeah. The easy bake oven, bro. I, I, the people. So if you're only able to play factory on this game, you have a toaster. You have a toaster oven. <laughs> All right. So we got an MRE that we're gonna use that for a trade. This actual whole rig, we can probably just do that. Um, that's good to go. got an 8 out of 8 tube. Alright, so prepper. Turn in our two shotguns. We need to eliminate five scavs. Go Jaeger's camp. On this one. Um, squash we're going to use for a trade. We got another backpack as well. So that's big. Uh, we'll do this, 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 and this. Search these things. See, that fits on there. So now we got a silenced 
gun. Um, we've got another gun here, which is big. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in with an IFAC and the tea bag. And that, along with a little bit of ammo. And we're going to go, we're just going to go in with this right here. Actually, I'm not even going to bring in the tea bag. I'm not even going to bring in the tea bag. We're just going to do this. We're going to go for Jaeger's camp and hope for the best. We're going to hope for the best here. Um, I don't think we can do that yet. And then we still need IFAX. So we're going to go to Woods again, and we're going to get Jaeger's thing. And... Hey guys, raid number three. We're going to be going for Jaeger's uh, tree fort. And... Don't have a great spawn for it, but we'll do a little bit of looting and scooting here. We'll hit some stashes, see if we can't uh, gear up a little bit. Um, this isn't a bad spawn for it. I was really hoping for um, the fob spawn. That way I could run in and... Oh, we don't have a backpack, so I guess that wouldn't have been good. This is actually probably about as good a spawn as we would get. No complaints here, especially if we get like a slick here. TV rig, it's even better, honestly. CMS kit, that's huge. Huge. So for hardcore, I'd much rather find a CMS kit than a survival kit in most instances, just because I can actually utilize and it's not that big of a deal if I, like, it's five hits, right? I need corrugated hoses, I need pliers, I need screwdrivers. Go ahead and drink this. You're not even locked down here. Go upstairs. I love you too, but go. You have food. You have water. You might not have water. She might not have water, chat. I'm going to have to look at next raid. Nobody's here, too. It's probably lonely. Like, but, Judge, I'm so lonely. We do need to make a little bit of money. What the? F Look like a plane, dude. All right, we're going to hit this stash up here, and then we're just going to hit for our Jaeger. Um, most of our gear up potential is going to be coming from killing scavs. But I think we found a helmet here. <laughs> we sure did. I got a free PC with a 2060 8 gig, but it sucks. 1060 isn't bad, man. 1060 isn't bad. If you play in 1080p, it's not going to be really good. It's You just probably need more RAM in your computer. Tarkov, in my opinion, Tarkov requires 32 gigs of RAM anymore. Like, I have 64 gigs of RAM, and it still gets bogged down. It's insane. Yo, Angel with the three months of support, bro. Thank you so much. So we're just going to head right to our Jaeger tree fort. And then we can uh, try to ex successfully extract.
Good thing we found that serve kit. Don't shoot me, bro. You shot me! Oh, we're still bleeding. I really hope it's an arm fracture. Yep, it's a broken leg. Katalas. Katalas. Thanks for the 100. Looks like he was doing hardcore as well. No, he wasn't. That was probably his 15th attempt trying to get that done. Let's hope he's got a splint. for the 100, dude. Great Havoc with the 100. Thanks for the 100 and the meme. I was unaware that that was your meme when I posted it. You know one of these scavs over here is going to have a splint for me. You just know it. Maro, thanks for the 99.
I don't think we're gonna make it out of this one. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it our best shot. Memes were made to be shared. I agree. I agree. I, I always say memes. I always say memes are free game. Please, for the love of God. A, don't have a friend, but B, have a splint. Yo, Jeffrey, um, thank you for all the shares, but four shares maximum. Anything more than that, it actually makes it so the stream doesn't get um, pushed out. Like, it, it hurts the stream. I'm not going to walk directly to outskirts, though. That just seems like a pretty good way of dying. Thank you, Keith Brooks. Oh, I don't know if I clipped that. I just killed the guy. Steven. You gonna try FOB for a splint? No, I gotta go the other way. Like, if I don't find one, then I'll have to walk all the way back. So I'm just gonna... Just kind of, like, go for it. You know what I mean? That kill would have been good for the Jaeger task? What kill? And what Jaeger task? What Jaeger task are you talking about? No, you can't. The only thing you can do as a scav for the mission wise for the task is like collecting items. You can't like go get the thing like I just did. Oh, killing while in pain. I didn't headshot him though. And it's only on scavs, I think. Oh, and that. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Think of a different one. Got a long ways off of that, dude. <laughs> Got a long ways to get to that one. So that way is extraction, but I'm going to go this way. 
Because I do believe I could I could maybe kill some scavs and, and, and get a splint. Maybe. Did you reset? This is my hardcore account. We are playing hardcore. So we're going to try to make it to um, the USEC area. Um, there's a, quite a few med spawns there. Just hope and pray we can get a, uh, a splint. Gimp through woods? Sick. Yeah, I know. I know. What's up, Brandon? What's the difference? Uh, type in exclamation point hardcore. It gives you the basic guidelines. Very, very, very difficult. Now we're going to cut through here. And we're going to cut through this one over here. Just really hope there's no more players and no player scavs that want to try to kill me. A regular player scav might think that I am a, a scav as well, so we might be. We might be, uh, we might be, we might be okay here. We might be okay. Pimping through the woods, dude. Dude, we've had this. We killed a player while under this situation. <laughs> I mean, he was level four. And the other guy was, like, level three. I think they were both level four, actually. So... There is no skill-based matchmaking in uh, in Targoff. It's just whoever gets into the raid gets into the raid. Um, I I have noticed whenever I play as a really really low level, like when I start a, a new account. I'm not saying this for a fact, but I've noticed it. I almost always run into low-level players, but so I don't know what that means. But I always run into low-level players. From 150 meters. Oh. And they're not called Bambies, they're called Timmies. Little Tim Tims. Need that. <laughs> well, we got what we needed. And it's a lure. We need that. You guys were like, why is he going that way? GG's. That's what I'm talking about. And we need that for a, for a trade. <laughs> we can run now, we can run. Oh shit. I'm going to eat it. Technically I cheated a bit there. I didn't notice it. Technically, I'm supposed to drop that, but I, I did want to keep it, so that's why I just went ahead and ate it. Got a vodka here. Drink, drink, drink. Now we're under painkillers. 
Not that we need them, but... Parry cord, long screwdriver, pliers, and poxogram. We're gonna take that. That grizzly's a big W for us. A, because we got a splint. You know, you know, it comes with a splint. But B, if we ever get injured out of a raid ever again, where we have. You know, a broken arm, broken leg, and we need to get out. And we get out, and we're like, man, that way I don't have to, you know, trade for a splint or do anything like that. We, we just have one. So, Can you get drunk? No, you can't get drunk. Horse for a docks case? I don't have that trade yet. I don't believe. That's like level three therapist, isn't it? What are your rules for hardcore? It's the same as Pestleys and Deadly Slops. Um, but if you type in exclamation point hardcore, it'll tell you. It's level two? Okay. How many horses do you need? If it's like more than two, I I'm, I just won't have room for it for a while. So, isn't it a horse, cat, and a lion? Just one horse, one cat, and one lion. Well, if it's just one horse, one cat, and one lion, I'm not gonna worry about it until I have a horse and a cat. Or a horse, yeah, a horse and a cat, because those are the ones that take up room, and you can find a horse freaking anywhere. You need four? Yeah, I'll wait until I have a. I'll wait until I have a lion, and a and a cat before I worry about four horses. I can find four horses in probably two raids, so. Without any trouble. Either way, I have a standard account, you guys, so, like, space is at a minimum. We're at, we have 169 concurrent viewers right now. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's we'll see if the gate's open. It's not. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I love you. Good morning. Sam with the 50. What's up, dude? Hell you. Yeah. Yeah, hell you. Oh, God. If I would have tried it a third time, I wouldn't have got it again, and I would have been just really upset with myself. Oh, he ran right as I shot. That's some bullshit. That guy's cheating. He has he has epilepsy. You know that thing where you can tell that somebody else is doing something? He's got that perk from on Call of Duty where you can see somebody's aiming at you. We got him. How's the hardcore? Um Could it like truly chat could it be going any better? Could it legitimately going any better at this very moment right now? Hello, that's not epilepsy. It, it's my stream, and I get to call it whatever I want. You don't tell me what the rules. I tell you what. <laughs> I know that wasn't right, guys. 
Mmm, Capri Sun. Don't touch my ball. So I think I'm going to get with Ronnie, but I think we're going to play every Monday in the evenings. I think it's going to be a, a Judge Ronnie day if he's down to do that because that was so much fun. Hardcore! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No! Do you think the PMC who died to the salve to get you rolling? No. <laughs> he up and run, run it. Take the sight? No, I took the whole thing. I'd rather have an ADAR. Rather have an ADAR. GG's another 5.5K XP. We killed two players. We got four scavs, all headshots, should be level five. Uh, we completed a task there as well. I can't do that. That's very hard for me to not hit. It's so hard for me not to hit you guys. Um, that's the one thing that you will see me fudge on, on this series with is I will hit that button. I will hit that button and I'm not supposed to, but it's one of those things where it, it happens, you know, it, it happens, dude. It happens. It totally happens. Judge, what do you, you see yourself doing in five years, ten years, or streaming doesn't continue as it is? Um, I'm going to try to start up some sort of business so that if streaming ends up failing, I still have another source of income so I can essentially retire. <laughs> um, I read the most toxic thing about Tarkov today. What's that? I want to hear it. Serpentine, Serpentine? <laughs> Tom Cruise did such a good job in the Book of Eli. Dude, I agree. All right, so I believe this is going to be um, the last episode, or the last... Um, turn that in. This is going to be the last raid of this episode for YouTube. So if you guys are watching over on YouTube, make sure you throw a like. Um, throw a comment down if you if you would, and uh, make sure you let me know if you enjoyed the content. Um, but yeah, see you guys on the next episode.